Breaking news. The convener of Revolution Now Movement and founder of Sahara Reporters, Omoyele Shore has taken a swipe at those who accused him of playing a role in bringing President Muhammad Buhari to power in 2015. After good luck Jonathan, who lost the Dori election and Buhari became the president, Shore have been blamed by so many people that he has a hands in the in the re-election, you know, the loss of the re-election of Jonathan, saying that he was one of those who put President Muhammad Buhari as the president of Nigeria. According to the news, Shawari made the rebuttal during his appearance as a guest in the first of the series of presidential aspirants interview put together by the online talk show 90 Minutes Africa hosted by Rudolf Okonkwo and Chido Onuma on Sunday. Good luck Jonathan became the first incumbent president of Nigeria to lose re-election when his party lost the presidential election to the All Progressive Congress APC in 2015. Since then, some supporters of the former president and his party the PDP have continued to blame Mr. Shoare and others who were critical of Jonathan administration for enabling the accession to power of President Muhammad Buhari. Some people suggested that Shoare was paid huge sums of money to work for Mr. Buhari during the 2015 election. Shore described the allegations as mere propaganda, saying that former President Kulok Jonathan was the major corporate in bringing Buhari to power. Goodluck Jonathan mismanaged Nigeria so badly that Buhari became attractive to people who were looking for an alternative. The 2023 presidential aspirant of the Action African Action Congress AAC noted. Founder of Sahara Reporters said he had never met with Mr. Buhari, even when Buhari visited the United States after he won the election. He requested to see me, but I declined. I have never met Buhari before, and I don't have any plans to meet him. Shore said. He explained that every time he did in you know he explained that everything pardon he did is exposing the corruption and mismanagement in the Jonathan government was strictly his duty as a publisher of Sahara Reporters. Shore also spoke on sundry issues during the interview, including his ordeal under the Buhari government his inability to see his family, and his call for a revolution. He acknowledged that the slow pace of acceptance of his ideas by Nigeria, by Nigerians, but expressed optimism that with time they will understand that it is only the only way to achieve a better country. I understand that Nigerians are slow with taking in new ideas, but we have to be consistent and persistent in telling them about the need for this revolution. We can't afford to sit down and expect things to work out themselves, he argued. Shawara said, the clamor for zoning will not bring about the desired social justice in Nigeria, describing it as an overly simplistic solution to the complex problems besetting the nation. Justice cannot be achieved by zoning the presidency to any region in which you still live the political elite who are the source of injustice to determine 
who emerges as the winner, he noted. On what he has endured, because of his revolutionary campaign, the activist expressed sadness about his inability to attend his brother's burial and take care of his aged mother because of his detention by the Department of State Service, DSS. Shore's movement was restricted to Abuja as part of his bill conditions until April 2023 when the restriction was lifted. He visited his hometown in Ondo State last week after three years. He said he was heartbroken seeing his mother paralyzed from neck down. When I was released in 2019, she had two years visa and my intention was for us to get on a plan and travel for medical checks and get her treated in the US, but that never happened, Shore lamented. I didn't realize that what the military was doing in 1993 will become a child's play in 2022 under a civilian regime. The activist vowed to continue the struggle until Nigeria is free from the stronghold of the corrupt political elite. I was born a Nigerian, Showare declared. I refused U.S. citizenship because I wanted to face the consequences of being born in Nigeria. That is what Showare have said. What is your thought to this? What is your own reaction to this? How good luck Jonathan brought Buhari to power? That is what Showare has explained to us, saying that those people who are saying that I am the one who have done this, I am the one, I am the brain behind Good luck, you know, good luck, Jonathan, leaving office, saying that I am the one or probably, you know, probably one of those who brought Buhari to power. It is a false allegation. He made this rebuttal during his appearance as a guest in the first of its series of presidential aspirants interview put together by the online talk show 90 Minutes Africa, hosted by Rudolf Okonkwo and Chido Onoma on Sunday. Who would like you to let us know your own point of view to this? Who would like you to share your own reaction with us via the comment section? Whether he knows about Buhari coming as Nigeria's president or not, that doesn't change that. We all voted for Buhari because we wanted change. And the change we were expecting was a positive change, not this kind of change we have. But another time is coming for us to make another change, you know. So it would be nice if we can think very well and make the right choice we would like you to share it with us on this but before we go let's see what people have felt to this peter said i think the more you mention the name buhari the more you inherit is amnesia she is beginning to sound like a man who has inherited buhari's forgetfulness how can she forget so soon that he campaigned for buhari in 2015 and said all kinds of things against jonathan that year we can see that Peter is saying that Shuwari was part of them, though probably he has forgotten. What is your thought to this? Would you also say Shuwari is part of them? We would like you to let us know your own point of view to this. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you have not, and I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.